same. You know, if you die, you're going to burn in hell for all eternity. But they never ever go into the family of the power that you have to, that you're supposed to keep. The law, statutes, and commandments of God. You don't have to, you don't have to do any work. You don't have to uh, keep no laws. You can just live any type of life you want to live. And as long as you believe in Jesus Christ, you're going to basically make it to heaven. No if and death and both about it. The only thing you have to do is believe in Jesus Christ. You can be just as wicked as all I know. Uh, and you can make it to the kingdom of heaven. You know, this is the logic of the Christian. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? You can live any life you want to live make it in the kingdom. But if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you're going to die and burn in hell. That, made, that, that makes no sense whatsoever. So basically, you can, so basically then, why would you believe in Jesus Christ anyway if you can just do what you want to do and, and you, you know what I'm saying, you're not going to burn in hell for eternity because you know hell, you know, you know, hell is but it doesn't exist. You know, if you want to terminology of hell, if you look it up, hell means uh, the grave or it's a condition that's laid out on the earth. You know, get back to the point. You know, it, it's ironic. You know, you, you have typical people who uh, talk about the Bible, who talk about the scriptures. So they made no effort in, in to follow the scriptures. You know, so they made no effort in keeping the laws of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. It's particularly Babylon the Great. Because every time you look around, you have the, the president and those that those congressmen, they swear they swear in on the scriptures. Which the scripture said that, you know, swear not at all. I cannot make that not hair white or white or black, you know. We're from paraphrase. But you know, they uh they swear in on the scriptures. But yet, as far as, you know, doing what the scriptures say, they cast his words right behind them. You know what I'm saying? And and that's particularly the, the Christian church as well, because the Christian church will tell you that they believe in God. They believe in Jesus Christ, and they have the Bible in their hand, but they never ever adhere to what the Bible has to say. They never ever adhere to what the Scripture has got to say. Why? Because they cast the words behind them, and that also particularly, you know, two-thirds of our people, man. Because two-thirds of our people, they don't listen to the laws of Yahweh, by Shem and Shah. What do they do? Or the Zechariah chapter 7 verse 11, you know, they, they they don't even park it, but they pull away the show. You know, meaning that you take you, you start going into the scriptures and start telling them uh, what the Bible, the scriptures say, you know, they, they don't want to hear what the scriptures gotta say. They will tell you that you know only God can judge me. You know, this 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 the backwards thinking of what this society has produced, you know, to our people. You know, they will tell you that, oh, we fear the Lord, we fear God. But then when you start bringing out the scriptures and, and uh, uh, telling them what the, what the scriptures say and, and what, what, what we need to do according to the scriptures, they'll tell you, you judging them. They'll say, oh, only God can judge me. Really? So how, so how can uh, the Most High judge you if you don't want to hear, adhere to the scriptures, but you know he's going to judge you anyway. He's going to go by what his word says. You know, the same word, you know, that you despise and that you keep to the curb and you don't want to have nothing to do with. That's the same word that, that most high is going to use to judge you, man. You know what I'm saying? When you ask a particular Christian what it said, you know, they don't know what sin is. 
But then if you go to first John, believe it's three and four, it said that sin is transgression of the law. Well, you know, by the way, the Christian tells you, will tell you that the law is done away with it. They'll tell you when the uh, quote unquote Jesus died on the cross, on the, cross you know, uh, the law was done away with when he died on the cross. Here it is that you have the Savior of the world, which is your house shot, by the way, in the name of Jesus Christ, but your house shot, Mashiach, kept the laws perfect, you know, kept every law a little perfect. And, and, and then when, when your house shot died on the cross, but particularly died for Israel anyway. Uh, you know, the wacky type Christian was said, well, well, well uh, you know, he, you know, your house shot down on the cross, and, and, and when he died, the, the law died with him, and, and uh, you can basically do whatever that you want to do, but then in the kingdom of heaven, you know, saying which you're going to be ruled by his life, by the way, you're going to have to keep the laws of the kingdom. Know, which, which don't make any sense with the laws that these Christians have, man. You know what I'm saying? The laws always been in effect. It's certain laws that we can't keep because we're in our captivity. The ones that we can keep, we keep them to the best of our ability. You know, however, we know that the law is not going to save you. But, you know, not keeping the laws of your high body, your mouth shot to destroy you. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, Get back to the point is that that these people uh, don't even honor your high about your mouth shot as the scriptures say. You know what I'm saying? You know your house shot say you know uh, these people uh, uh, honor me. You know, we're paraphrasing honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. You know, and and and, and uh, these people they don't serve the Most High man. They don't serve your high about your mouth shot. You know, they gave him lip service, but as far as like going out doing the work, making the, making the body of living sacrifice, you know, uh, put down a pistol daily, so, so uh, to wake up the elect, these people not doing the work, man. You know what I'm saying? They're not finding a way to be out by the out shot. You know, because the ways of the most high grievous unto them, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they want to, Get to the most high in the sun some other way. You know what I'm saying? What the scriptures say, you trying to come to the most high some other way, you're a thief in the rock. You got to go to your house child, watch y'all. And what did your house child do? He kept the laws perfectly. He did the will of your house perfectly. You know what I'm saying? He, he, didn't, he didn't go up some other way. He went up the, the, the way that your house told him to go up. It is to keep, to keep the laws, man. You know what I'm saying? How is it that the Savior of, the, of Israel, they don't say the world, because he, 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 he not, yeah, he don't, yeah, he, yeah, he's the Savior of the world, yeah, the world of Israel, you know what I'm saying? The Savior of Israel kept the laws perfectly, died on the cross for the Israelites, and, uh, you know what I'm saying? And he sits at the right hand of Yahweh making innocence for the Israelites, particularly the elect. And, and you pay, and, and, uh, and, and you pick people based saying that oh that that part you know you gotta keep the law that don't count because that the law died with your house I know it did because because what did the book of Matthew say you know your house I said not one jot or tittle will pass from the law to all be fulfilled man you know showing you that the law is still in effect you know what I'm saying you can't go out and live your life doing whatever it is, it is that you want to do and thinking that you're going to, you, you know what I'm saying, you're going to get on the chariot and you're going to be in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? It don't work like that, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep the laws that you can to the best of your ability. You know what I'm saying? Find these, find these wacky type Christians don't get you destroyed, man. Because these, these people don't believe in the most high, man. They don't believe in the, in, in the Bible. They don't believe in the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? You know, as the scriptures say, they have some, they have a form of godliness, but they're not a power thereof, man. You know, they have some form of godliness, but when you start telling them they have to keep the laws, oh no, you know, we're under grace. We ain't gotta keep no laws, we're under grace. We can be a we can be a wicked demon. 
but, but we're in the grace. You know what I'm saying? You be the grace of Yah by Shimon Shah. You know, the grace is not for you to go live and do whatever it is that you want to do. You know, uh, the grace period is for you to get yourself together in Yahweh by Shimon Shah. You know, keeping his law, statutes, commandments. You know, following out to the ways of, of, of Yahweh by Shimon Shah. You know, get prepared for the times that's coming up ahead. You know what I'm saying? This, this liberty and this grace period is not for you to abuse it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's not for you to abuse it, man. And, and that was a lot of uh, Israelites do, and particularly the Christian. They would tell you, oh, we're under grace. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got, we ain't got to keep the laws. We're under grace. You know, we can just live with demons. We can, we can be a demon. And, and how about Shimon Shah gonna, gonna have verse on them? We can live in any type way we want to. No, you can't. Because if you ain't keep the laws that you committed to the best of your ability, you, 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 you wanna be destroyed, man. And that goes for anybody. You know what I'm saying? We gotta keep the laws that you commandments perfect. No if and what's about it. Because y'all by Shimon Shah tell, you know, said that he knows, he, 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 he no respect to a person. You know what I'm saying? Not keeping the law that you can to the best of your ability can get you destroyed. But can you know can we uh uh you know keep our law statue commandments perfectly? No, we can't because we're in this sense of flesh. You know, we're gonna go off of particular things. You know what I'm saying? And also we're in the land of our captivity, some of the things that we can do in in in, in our in in, in ancient time, we can't do it now, man, because we are in the land of our captivity. But you know what I'm saying, that was grace comes in there. You know, that was the verse of David comes in there, you know, things that we can we can't keep. You know what I'm saying? We ask y'all by Shim outside to have mercy on us and help us to to do the to keep the laws that we can keep perfectly, man. You know, striving to keep them on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? And and that was mercy comes in there. And the grace period comes in, comes in that we got to get ourselves together. That's what this grace period is all about. It's not all about giving uh, liberty or occasion to the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Because if you give an occasion to the flesh, you're not serving the most high Yahweh by Shem You know what I'm saying? If you love this world, you're not serving Yahweh by Shem You know, what did 1 John 2 and 15 tells you? It said, love not the world, not of the things that are in the world. You know, any man that love, love the world, the love of love of Yahweh by Shemal Shah is not in him, man. You know what I'm saying? But you can't love the world, you can't do what you want to do. And then you think the love of the Father, Yahweh by Shemal Shah, then you get what it's not. You know, he's not dealing with you. You know what I'm saying? Because the law, statutes, commandments are still smoking him is still implemented to this day. You know what I'm saying? Even in the kingdom of heaven, the Israelites are going to have the laws written in their hand parts. So for you wacky tight Christians out there, the laws ain't never ever been done away with. The laws are still in effect. But the only thing that was done away when Yahweh Shah went to the cross was, you know, the sacrifice of the animals. You know what I'm saying? We no longer gonna have to we don't longer have to uh, sacrifice for uh, you know, lambs and turtle doves and pigeons and ewe lambs and you know, so on and so forth. We don't, we no longer have to sacrifice them. You know, saying your house shall became that perfect sacrifice. You know, particularly for the Israelites, but mainly the elect. You know, it became that perfect sacrifice. You know, what I'm saying, but now who's the sacrifice now? We are, we are. The scripture tells us that we have to make our bodies a living sacrifice. You know. Meaning that we have to put off things that uh that you know that feel good to us. You know what I'm saying? Things that are not, you know, well you have by Shim outside, we put them out to the best of our ability. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, you know, if we don't do it perfect, that answer no, but guess what? You got to make an attempt to try. You know what I'm saying? The most high gonna look at your intent. But and he gonna look at you making an effort of of want to put those things off to please him. You know what I'm saying? In order for you to please Yahweh by Shemal Shah, you, you 
you have to, you have to deny yourself. You have to deny the flesh. You know, because uh, how shall I say, any man will follow me first, let, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Meaning that this is a daily walk, man. You have, you have to deny yourself daily. You know what I'm saying? Those things that you want to do, you know that it's wrong. You can't do it. You know what I'm saying? You have to deny yourself daily. You got to crucify the flesh on the cross. You know, what do your house shot say? You know, you have to take up your cross daily and follow follow your house shot. No if and buts about it. You know, no lip service, none of that, man. You know what I'm saying? You have to, you have to back up what, what you're saying, man. You know, you have to back up with, with doing the work. You got to back up making yourself a sacrifice. You know? Making our bodies a living sacrifice, meaning that uh, you know, what I'm saying we, we put off the things that we want to do and follow your house, shall wash you What did what did Peter ask your house, shall? He said, "Lord, we left all and followed thee. What should we have there for?" You know, Peter let, uh, asked your house, shall we left everything and follow you? You know, we left our livelihood, we left our family, we left our wives and children. You know, basically, we left out the things what we want to do. And we follow your house shop, my shop. What should we have there for? You know, you have to tell the brother when that came in truth. You know what I'm saying? They uh they have they have talent that they could uh made millions upon millions of dollars with their talent. But guess what? They 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 uh they put that to the side and follow your house shop, my shop. You know what I'm saying? You have the people in the world who say that you know that's a foolish thing that you need. Yeah, boy, you're not foolish in the eyes of your by Shim Al Shah when when you put off the things of the world to, to follow uh, your Shah of my shot. But only the elect of the house of Israel gonna understand, man. Everybody else not gonna understand. They gonna look at that, oh it, you know, it's foolish that you did that you're foolish, you're stupid for for putting off uh, uh you know, putting off uh, uh the things of this world to uh you know, to follow uh, your house, shot, watch y'all. The Christian would, would, would uh, say that you're foolish. Because these Christians don't have the oil, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they would tell you, you can do whatever it is that you want to do. You, and uh, you you still going to make it. You know what I'm saying? These Christians don't, don't uh, they, they don't love your house, shot, watch y'all. They despise him. They despise your house. They despise the word of Yahweh by the sheep out shot. And they despise the elite because the elite is the ones that follow Yahweh Shah Bashia. They follow Yahweh by the sheep out shot. And you follow Yahweh by the sheep out shot. And you put off those things of the, of the world. The Christian will laugh at you and they will call you weird. But, but, but uh, for you Christians out there, but did you not say that you believe in? And, 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 you know, quote unquote, God believe in quote unquote Jesus Christ, you know, which they're not, that's not their names anyway. And you say you, you, you will hear everything to the Bible. So when, when, when we start following what the scripture says, you know, in the, in the will of Yahweh, by Shem Al Shah, how's that we're weird? You know what I'm saying? This, this, Christian, this Christian doctrine. It, you know, it's gonna cause a lot, a lot of you Israelites to be destroyed, man. Because you got a lot of Israelites they still stuck on Christianity. You know what I'm saying? They still stuck on, uh, uh, you know, white man Jesus. They still stuck on, you know, uh, we the, the uh, pre rapture doctrine. You know what I'm saying? They still stuck on, oh, you know, we can do what we want to do. We under grace. You're gonna be destroyed, man, if you don't repent and come out of it out of that mindset, you know what I'm saying? That mindset is gonna get a lot of you Israelites destroyed, man. You know what I'm saying? We're not, we ain't talking about the Indian nation. We know they ain't got, they, they don't have salvation. Salvation is only given to the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? But the only people that's gonna receive, that's gonna turn back is the elect of the house of Israel. Even two thirds of our people are not gonna uh, turn back to Yah by Shem Al Shah. Why? Because because they they uh, uh you know what I'm saying they 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 want to stay in this world, man. You know what I'm saying they quit to say, oh we love we love your house we love y'all about Shemal Shah. But yeah, two thirds of our people 
they 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 love they love the serpent, man. They love they love Esau Edom. You know what I'm saying? They would do anything that the serpent they they uh, slave master would tell them. They do anything what the serpent tells them to do. You know what I'm saying? No if and buts about it. Written no questions. But when you start telling them what what uh, y'all about Shem Al Shah says, you know. Uh, uh, two thirds of our people, they have a problem with that, and they and they'll be like, uh, you know what I'm saying? They they don't want to hear that. They like, oh, that the the Bible is a so-called white man book. Oh, you know what I'm saying? How how the Bible is a so-called white man book? And you know the the, the scriptures condemn the so-called white man. They condemn Esau either. You know what I'm saying? When we start asking our people questions, man. You know, the Bible condemns the so-called white man. So how 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 is it is it book that shows you that you Israelite man, you you you, uh, you have a form of godliness but you do not power the old man. You do you do not power your how about your mouth shot. You really you hate the Lord, man. Let, let, let's just put it in layman terms, you hate your how about your mouth shot. Because if you ain't following the will of your how about your mouth shot, you is enemy. Therefore, thereby you hate the Lord, man. You hate Yah by Shem Al Shai. You're not keeping his law, statute, and commandment to the best of your ability. You know what I'm saying? As I said before, I'm saying again, we know that the law is not going to save you. But not keeping the law, statute, and commandment, you, you can be destroyed. And that's what you see going on with a lot of our people. They being destroyed, man, because a lot of them, they don't want to hear the words of Yah by Shem Al Shai. And they think that they're going to go up some other way, you know, with your Christianity, thinking that they're going to make it. Guess what? You're not going to make it. You're going to be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? If you don't repent. Which we know two-thirds of our people are not going to repent and turn back to Yah by the Shema You know what I'm saying? They, they honor the most how with their lips, you know, give him lip service. But... But you know, they hardly far for him, you know, they mind is far for y'all by the shame out shot. You know what I'm saying? When it goes into heart, it's talking about your mind. You know what I'm saying? They mind is far for you from the most high family. Because these people mind are not are not thinking about serving out by the shame out shot. They're not they're not thinking about signing and crying for the abomination of, of this place. You know what what they're doing, they 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 talking about uh they don't want the world to end because they want to see their children grow up. Or they don't want the world to end because they got they got a lot of the worldly things that they still want to go out and do. You know what I'm saying? They don't want the world to end because they know they know in particular there's gonna be the end of Esau Edom. So if our white man out there he does his dies for his a hard for slavery. You know, they don't want the world to end because our people, two thirds of our people. They have they have ties to Babylon the Great, you know what I'm saying, and, and they don't want to let those ties go. You know what I'm saying? They want the Most High to for this system, man. They want Yahweh Shem Al Shai to to uh, let this system go back to normal. They they don't want to they don't want to serve Yahweh Shem Al Shai because if it's up to two thirds of our people, they will ask Yahweh Shem Al Shai. To let this society go back to normal and and, 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 uh, and get out of their life, and, and, and they don't want to have nothing to do with the most high man. You know, just like the uh, scribes and Pharisees. You know, what I'm saying uh, they they have they had a form of godliness, but they deny the power they are. They reject Yahweh Shah Masha. You know, what I'm saying they reject what he said because they want to hold on to their tradition. You know what I'm saying? As your house shall say, say you made the word of your house none effect with your tradition. You know, roughly paraphrasing. You know what I'm saying? You you deny the power of your house by Shem Al Shah. You reject the words of the Lord, man, because you want to keep your tradition. You want to keep your seat. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to serve the most high man. You don't want to humble yourself and, and repent and turn back to Yah by Shem Al Shah. You know, that we how I was telling these scribes and Pharisees and that's what's going on with our people today. You know what I'm saying? They they deny Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. They reject the words of the Lord, man. You know, they 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 reject his serving the prophets. You know what I'm saying? Just like they did back then, they they doing it now. 
they reject the words of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? They, they want to come with a form of God in this, but they don't want to serve, they, they truly don't want to serve Yahweh by the Shema You know what I'm saying? They, they want to serve God and white man Jesus, because God and white man Jesus will allow them to, to do whatever it is that they want to do. And, and they, and, you know, God, you know, God uh, and white man Jesus don't require a sacrifice for them. You know what I'm saying? But when you say your house, why your house shot, you, it requires a sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? It requires you to make your body a living sacrifice. And that's what our people don't want to do, man. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to make their bodies a living sacrifice. They don't want to crucify the flesh daily. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't want to, uh, uh, you know, deny themselves. You know what I'm saying? Deny themselves. Deny yourself being that you humble yourself before your house by Hashem Shah. And you come to the realization without your house shot of Shah, you're nothing. You know, none of us are anything without your house shot of Shah. So, so don't sit there and get proud and think that uh that, that you don't need your house shot of Shah. Then, then get what you want to be destroyed with that mindset. Because that, that, that's a foolish mindset to have. You know, thinking that, that uh, you don't need your house shot by shot. You know what I'm saying? That's, why, that's how a lot of our people want to be destroyed, man. Because they don't think they, 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 uh, that they need your house shot by shot. You know, they believe that they can, they can do whatever it is that they want to do. And, and, and your house shot by shot still going to deal with them on some type of level. Guess what? Your house by shot is not going to deal with you like this. Because he's not dealing with you. And he showed he's not dealing with the, the wacky tacky Christians, man. He's not dealing with them as well because they, they ain't they ain't got the war. They 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 never ain't burning. They ain't serving your how about Shim Al Shah. You know what I'm saying? They 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 serve a different power, man. They serve they serve a different God. Because the God they serve don't require a sacrifice. But the God of Israel, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob requires a sacrifice. And that's something that uh, even Christians, particularly two-thirds of our people, they don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to uh, be a living sacrifice for Yahweh Hashem Al You know what I'm saying? They, they, they want to serve their own belly. You know, they, you know, the scripture say they God is their belly. They want to serve their own belly. They want to, to uh, follow their own traditional way, man. They want to serve their own thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Because they thoughts of their gods. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, you, you have a team of Christians, they run up and they run up and jump uh, up and down pull pitch, doing flips and, and, and everything else and hooping and hot and screaming, passing out on the floor, rolling and spinning and everything else. Then as soon as the church hit, they they about to eat a pork chop sandwich. They about to, they about to eat a smoke sausage sandwich. You know what I'm saying? They eat all types of abominable foods. But when you tell them the Vedic chapter 11 tells them what what was clean and unclean, you know, among the animals, our people say, oh, that's just the old testament. I they run the Paul's teaching say, oh, you know, everything that the most high made. You know, it's clean, you know, all that you got to do is pray for it. What did the scripture say? Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean thing? Even though that's uh, talking about uh, Esau Edom, but you can also put it in, you know, with the animals. You know, the most high made the animals clean and unclean, man. You know what I'm saying? He made the animals clean and unclean. You know what I'm saying? But you know, these white attack Christians, you know what I'm saying, they 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 overlook those particular scriptures. Why? Because they, they want to come up some other way. You know, they want to have a form of godliness, but they want to deny the power thereof, man. They don't want to serve Yahweh by Shim Al Shah. Because Yahweh by Shim Al Shah requires a sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? And it sacrifices for you to turn away from, from your wicked ways. Turn away from your wicked thoughts. You know what I'm saying? 
it, it's, it is to follow Yahusha with us on LV doors, you know, follow the Lamb. But all the people that's going to follow the Lamb is the house of Israel, but mainly the, the elect. Everybody else is not going to follow the Lamb. They're going to have a form of godliness and deny the power they owe, you know what I'm saying? Because they want to keep their traditions, you know what I'm saying? You even have the temple of Israelites, you can even show up in the scriptures the most high half the temple of uh, feast days, but they deny that. And they will hang on to these, these wicked holidays, even though that they know about the paganistic traditions of these holidays, yet you still got people still go out and do these holidays, and they reject these uh, feast days. Why is that? Like, you know, like I said before, it goes all, it go, it all goes back, you know, to them denying the power of Yah by Shem Al Shah because they they reject the words of the, of the, of the Most High with their tradition, man. You know, and, and that's the mindset of our people. That's the mindset of you know, I mean, two thirds of our people, and then also that's the mindset of these wacky tacky Christians. You know, what I'm saying they honor. Uh, the most high with their lips, but they parted far from them. But what did Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 says? It said, Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of the most high, of Yah, by Shem Al Shah, you know, is going to enter into the kingdom. He enter into the kingdom is talking about the chariots, man. You know, only people that's going to enter them chariots is the elect of the house of Israel, because the elect of the house of Israel is the one that's on the will of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else is not going to end them. You know what I'm saying? Meaning everybody else that, you know, Yahweh by Shem Al Shah will be checked. You know, you, you mean on down to, uh, you know, Matthew chapter 7, verse 22 through 23. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm roughly paraphrasing because the driver. You know, verse 22 said, you know, rough paraphrase, you know, many going to say in that day, uh, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied not in thy name, and in thy name have cast thy devils, and in thy name have done many wonderful works. And verse 23 goes on to say, you know, Yahweh shall say, you know, then I'll say unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you works of iniquity. And a lot of, you know, you is like potentially get two thirds. You know, your house shot will tell you to, to depart from him. Why? Because you, know, you didn't serve your house by Shem Al Shah. You serve another power, man. You serve another God. You know, you kept serving uh, God and so called uh, white man in the Jesus Christ. You didn't serve your house while your house shot. You serve uh, God and Jesus Christ. You know, and a lot of you feel like you're going to get rejected too because a lot of, yeah, you have a particular Israelite that serve, uh, you know, the religion, Islam, Scientology. You, you people are going to get rejected, man, because you ain't serving the most high. You serve Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. You serve another God, man. You know what I'm saying? And the most high ain't dealing with you if you serve another God, man. It, what did uh, Ezra chapter 20? I would be rough around verse 3 said, it said, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. You know, talking to the Israelites. We know that the Christians, you know, have other gods before them. They serve white man Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And they accept any type of abomination, you know, in, in their con in their congregation. You know what I'm saying? They deny the power of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, and they serve their own belly. And that's a dangerous place to be in. You know, you serve your own belly. And by you doing that, you know, the most high is going to destroy a lot of you chase, man. Because a lot of you chase is just the words of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. And you hanging on to, to uh, your tradition. You hanging on to your feelings. You know what I'm saying? You hanging on to what you think is right. But you want to be destroyed, man. By your high by Shem Al Shai. You know, and that's it for a lesson. You know, the point is being made. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, don't, don't, uh, have a form of godliness, but you deny the power thereof. And you deny your high body shit out shot. 
you're not keeping the ways of the Yahweh Shema Shah, but you serve your own belly, you know, that you're going to be destroyed. And with that, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rukhabadash, and honor to the apostles and elders of the great Millstone, and the prevention of the teaching and preaching the truth all over.